So the results are in and it's a negative. I have to admit I'm much more disappointed than I thought I would be. I think your mind starts playing tricks on you and also all the injections that you have and all the hormones and all these external factors. Um, I had a few symptoms which I really thought were pregnancy symptoms. Um, and I really wanted to take a, a home pregnancy test. But um, a friend of mine actually said um, that the trigger shot that you take can give you a false positive and I also confirmed that with the fertility clinic and they said it's not a good idea to do a home pregnancy test um, it's not a good idea to do a home pregnancy test before you do the blood test because it can give you a false positive so I decided not to do the test um, but the day before I had to go for the blood test actually yesterday today is Wednesday the 19th I'm actually supposed to be at the blood test now but um, so yesterday morning I decided to take a home pregnancy test just to um, to see what the result would be um, and to maybe compare that with the blood test or with the results of the blood test but as I was doing the test I started with my period which was so disappointing and actually came as a big shock because um, yeah, and now all of these thoughts are going through my mind because this is exactly what happened last time we did the artificial insemination. I started with my period the day before I had to go for the blood test. So I just didn't feel like going to the blood test today. Just to go through another injection or, well, another needle. Just to hear no again. I'm really sorry for crying and this might be awkward for most of you and you might wonder why am I putting a video like this on the internet but I'm not faking what we're going through I'm not trying to be positive and just always put on a happy face just for the camera um, it feels strange crying in front of all of you but this is the real experience this is what it feels like This is the hardest journey I've ever gone through. I know myself and I know I'm going to be fine and tomorrow I might get up and feel totally different. But for now I'm just allowing myself to feel what I'm feeling and to really deal with it. I think it's healthy and it's necessary. And as a woman you can't help but wonder if there's something wrong with you, if it just doesn't work, you keep on trying and you even go through all of these procedures and why doesn't it want to work? Like what's wrong? I'm sure I'm going to look back on this video and probably feel stupid and have different convictions but today my struggle is I don't understand why God would give you the, the desire and the yearning in your heart to be a mother and to be a father and to be parents. And then you have to go through all of this. And I know that his timing is perfect and I've said it before and I believe it. I just don't feel all that positive today. I feel negative. <laughs> Those of you who have been through this before might know exactly how this feels but 
not only do you have to deal with the disappointment, but you also have your period, which makes it even more challenging. Although we know that this was a long shot, and I even said that in a previous video as well, this is kind of an extra, and because we didn't have enough eggs to do the ICSI with, we did the artificial insemination just to not let the two eggs go to waste. So, although we knew that this was only a shot in the dark almost, um, you start to get excited and you start to get your hopes up and the way I feel today I don't feel like getting my hopes up for the next cycle. I know I have to and I have to kind of pull myself together so that we can start with the injections in a couple of days again and I just don't know when to feel excited and when to be hopeful because everything in my entire life since we've tried um, for a baby all the symptoms I've experienced and every idea that I had maybe I'm pregnant none of that was true so I don't know what to go on I I'm not sure um, when to be excited even when you finally get your positive pregnancy test so many things can still go wrong, so it's just such a long, exhausting journey. At the same time, I am really grateful for everyone in our lives. Those of you who already know that it was a negative and that it didn't work, um, all of you are so supportive and we really, really appreciate your messages and some of you even said maybe you shouldn't do this in public and for everyone to see and kind of to be in the spotlight, but that's not really relevant in our situation. I don't think um, at this stage, this helps me a lot. It helps me to think about what I'm going to say in the videos and when I'm going to upload a video and like I said right at the beginning, I'm not doing this just for myself. Um, if there are some of you who are also going through this journey and you want a baby and it just doesn't happen, or you know people who knows what this is like, um, hopefully their journey is much shorter than ours, but this is what it's like. This is the experience. Um, there are many ups and downs. There are many things that we are grateful for. And sometimes I feel guilty feeling like this because I feel like we should be um, thankful for the opportunities we do have. And you know our story. You also know that Francho is healthy and he doesn't have any signs of cancer or Crohn's disease anymore so I know that uh, we have to count our blessings but at the same time it does hurt and it's been so many years and last night Franch and I also we just spoke about it and we said that we never ever thought that this would even be an issue both of us want children so so bad um, since we were young, it was never an option not to have children and to struggle with this is It keeps on surprising us. We never thought this would be part of our lives, but I suppose that's life and you can't always get what you want when you want it and What I want to say now is I know that it will happen and that we will have a baby in due course, but I'm not that sure I this is what I feel like today and I'm really sorry if it's depressing or if it upsets you but I'm not going to put on a show and pretend like everything is all right all of the time um, I know it will be fine in the end and I still believe that God has a plan but I'm in conversation with him and 
Um, I have a few questions in front of you as well. So we are dealing with that and it takes a lot of guts to be this honest. Um, to be this open, this candid about what what we are feeling and what we are going through. Um, but we set out on this journey to to share everything, the good and the bad. Um, so hopefully we will be able to share good news one day. At the moment I'm struggling to find something to look forward to. But I'm just going to take the day and just feel this and rest in this and experience it and go through the motions. And I'll have to find a way to be positive about the next cycle and I I don't know how I can't get my hopes up because I don't think you should go into something thinking uh, it's probably not going to work that's not me that's not what I believe so lots of things to think about and to consider so there you have it it didn't work it was a negative and we are planning to continue with the ICSI in a couple of days. Um, thank you very much for watching and for still being part of the journey even though I cried through an entire video. Trust me, I cry a lot more behind the scenes um, and I won't show any of that. No crying bloopers. <laughs> um, enjoy your day guys.